Well, one of three Group 1 events on the card at Common Angle on Saturday night is the Nutrient Alabar Farms for the two-year-old Colts and Geldings. An outstanding field overflowing with power from the Emma Stewart and Clayton Tonkin stable. One man hoping to upset the apple cart is Shane Sanderson. I caught up with Shane to discuss the prospects of Dangerous. Well, Shane, it's always good to compete in a Group 1 event, but when you're up against the might and power of the Emma Stewart, Clayton Tonkin stable and draw the outside gate, it makes it a bit more difficult. How do you see the chances of Dangerous? I uh, certainly got it up. Uh, got it up. He's certainly up against it, that's for sure. Um, we were all sort of praying for a good draw and, and didn't get it, but um, anyway, we're just going to have to be content with where we're drawn now. Win, lose or draw on Saturday night. Shane, you look to have a very promising young colt on your hands. Yeah, we think so. Uh, we've always liked him from day one, and um, yeah, I'm, you know, he's, we're really happy with his heat run, and um, yeah, I, he's probably certainly the best one I've had. So I think he's, I think he's got a good future. He had a lot of toughness in taking out those events at uh, Hamilton and Melton. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yep. No, for sure, he was um, certainly had something in hand on both occasions. Um, the times were good, and he showed a bit of versatility on both occasions as well. So he seems to be the complete package. Best you can hope for, probably a place you can go back early and pray for luck from that point onwards? I'd say so. We'll just have to um, see, yeah, that'd probably be the most likely scenario. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. The good ones are going to be up front, and if you're too far back, there's you know, there's probably going to be nothing to cart you into the race. So um, it certainly looks to be a very, you know, very tough assignment. Bit of a journeyman these days, Shane from Queensland, the Sunshine State. You were based here at Club Eagle now in Victoria Charlton. The move has certainly turned out to be a positive one. Yeah, absolutely. Certainly, certainly not what we set out to do, but um, circumstances sort of led us that way, I suppose. And um, yeah, no, it's certainly going good. The kids have been going good and getting plenty of opportunities, and that's what that's what we decided to go for. So, yeah, it's been a success. On the subject, Dev Ryan and Abby, in particular, Abby, she's come along in leaps and bounds to the point where she's attracting a lot of outside attention. As is Ryan, but linking up with Julie Douglas, a big positive. Absolutely, yeah. No, I've um, been lucky enough that Julie, um, Glenn, and, and Eric, they, they sort of given her a great go, and um, yeah, it's been absolutely terrific for her. And she's going ahead in leaps and bounds, and yeah, the support they've given her, we, you know, it was, yeah, we can't thank them enough. And Shane, apart from the success Ryan and Abby have been enjoying, you've also built up your stable to the point where it's also going very well. Yeah, well, we're going. Yeah, we're certainly going pretty good at the moment. Um, we sort of, you know, took us a took us a little while to settle in and find our feet, but um, certainly a lot happier with the way things are going now. Yeah, and good point also the fact that you've been able to attract the attention of a well-known owner Emilio Rosato. Yep, no, Emilio and uh, Mary they've been great for us. Um, they give us a go and and happy to support um, the kids and um, you know give Ryan plenty of drive. So um, yeah, no, it's, it's been been a good association. And how many horses do you have at work these days? Uh, we sort of vary between fifteen to twenty. I think we stride good performer for you from Emilio's team. Yeah, he's he's been the highlight um, of the ones Emilio has sent us. He's he's won several races and run several placings. So yeah, we've been um, yeah we've we've been really good lucky to have him. We've we'll been talking about the positives, Shane. What about uh, a little bit of a negative? Your beloved Brisbane Broncos. Yeah, no, absolutely. They're um, they started started all right at the start of the year and they've um, gone backwards in recent times, but. Um, yeah, we'll have to. Um, they'll have to hopefully get over that mid-season slump and see if they can charge on towards the finals. Leave Broncos out of the equation. Who do you think is the team to beat? Still the Penrith Panthers? Yeah, they look to be. Yeah, uh, Penrith. You never write the storm off, I suppose. But um, I'd say Penrith would be the one to beat for sure. Well, it's been good to catch up with you, and uh, hopefully you've settled in nicely at Charlton. Yes. Yeah. No. It's a lot of good people in Charlton, so um, they're very welcoming and uh, they made us feel at home. And uh, yeah, no. That's um, yeah. So it's settled in good. And how do you find leaving the sunshine state of Queensland going to where the temperatures would be a little bit dicey? Yeah, certainly bucking the trend, what most people do. Um, yeah, no, it's a bit of a wake-up call, um, certainly on some cold mornings and, and the days keep stay cold, but um, yeah, we're, we're sort of getting acclimatised, but um, yeah, who knows, one day we hope to be back in the sunshine state, that's for sure. Well, you've made your way down the east coast of Australia, you know where the next stop is, it's even colder. Yeah, no, next stop will definitely not be any further south, that's for sure.